Hello learners, I am Teacher Angel. I will be your guide for our course Physical Science. Today we will go over Module 1 entitled How the Elements Found in the Universe Were Formed for Grade 12, Quarter 1, Week 1. Come on and let us enjoy the amazing world of Physical Science. This module will provide you with information and activities that will help you understand better the formation of heavier elements during star formation and evolution, and how the concept of atomic number led to the synthesis of new elements in the laboratory. In page 1, under target, the milk for this module is indicated. After going through this module, you are expected to first. Give evidence for and describe the formation of heavier elements during star formation and evolution. Second, explain how the concept of atomic number led to the synthesis of new elements in the laboratory. Before going on, check how much you know about this topic. Answer the pre-test in page 2 and 3. These are the various activities prepared for you in page 4 under Jumpstart. Activity 1. Search me. Read the given information about how heavier elements are formed. Understand what you are reading, then accomplish the given activity below. The activity on the Jumpstart part are all essential for you to understand the content of this module, which is how the elements found in the universe were formed. Before proceeding with the discussion, let us have a short recall on the different concepts that we are going to use in tackling the different parts of this module under Discover in page 5 to 8. The early existence of the universe is believed to be the start of all matter. Approximately 13.8 billion years ago, light elements such as hydrogen, helium, and a little of lithium emerge in the universe from the Big Bang. This video will help you to recall the Big Bang Theory. Lahat ng bagay na makikita mo dito sa universe ay binubuo ng tinatawag nating elements. Yes, ito yung mga elements na makikita natin sa periodic table of elements. Sa module na to, pag-uusapan natin ang mga proseso ang nangyari kung paano nga ba nabuo ang mga elements na to, from light elements to heavy elements. Nagsimulang mabuo ang lahat ng elements na nandito sa universe pagkatapos mangyari ng Big Bang. The Big Bang Theory is a cosmological model stating that the universe started its expansion about 13.8 billion years ago. Upang mas madaling maintindihan ang pagkakabuo ng mga elements na nandito sa universe, panoorin ang video ito. Para naman mas lalong maintindihan ang pagkakabuo ng mga elements during life cycle ng star, panoorin ang video ito. As hydrogen piles on, the central region grows more and more dense until something brand new lights up the universe. A star. These first stars are hydrogen giants, 100 times or more larger than our own sun. Such massive stars are short-lived, two or three million years at the most, and they go out with a bang. An explosion so big, they've been dubbed hypernovae. And it's with these cataclysms that the universe begins to accumulate the building blocks of life. All the atoms in the universe heavier than hydrogen and helium are forged by stars. Stars are really interesting. They, they don't just sit there. 
You know, uh, the, because they last so much longer than we do, we think they're, they're permanent. Stars are the ultimate alchemists. They, they turn light elements into heavier ones. They get the energy that they need to glow that way. The star begins its life made out of hydrogen and helium mostly, about 70% hydrogen, 28% helium in the case of the sun. In a star's core, the temperature and pressure are so high that hydrogen atoms fuse together to make helium. Hydrogen fusion releases prodigious amounts of energy, the heat and light of a star. That's the story for 90% of the life of a star, fusing hydrogen uh, to make helium. Eventually, though, the star runs out of hydrogen and begins to fuse its stocks of helium, making yet heavier elements. And so the way it works, and it always works this way, is that it contracts and it gets hotter. And if it can find something new to burn, whether it's the kitchen sink or coal or whatever, it'll burn it. Helium is taken three at a time to make carbon. You can add one more helium to that carbon and make element number eight, oxygen. That's a tremendous step forward. You get carbon and nitrogen and oxygen uh, made in stars. Now this is great because on the board we already have the principal elements of life. Organic chemistry is the chemistry uh, of carbon. Carbon fuses next, and still heavier elements begin to form. Sulfur, argon, chlorine, potassium, calcium, scandium. The pace of this gets faster and faster. Back in the middle, silicon is starting to burn at three and a half billion degrees. Stupendous temperature. It makes titanium, vanadium, chromium. Manganese, cobalt, nickel, and iron. Iron is really the end of the road. It's, it's sort of the nuclear turnip out of which you just cannot squeeze uh, anymore. It's the end of the game. A star that has relied on fusion has come to the point where it has nothing more to spin. The star is suddenly caught in a disaster. There's radiation going out from the outside, but deep in the inside, there's uh, no more fuel. Iron can't fuel this stellar furnace. And so, when a star builds up too much iron, it dies. The core collapses, it bounces. And it begins to move out, first slowly and then faster and faster. And that sends a very sharp wave back out through the star. And now what was falling down is going out, the whole thing's blowing up. And you've made a supernova. A supernova explosion can be as bright as four billion stars like the sun. A stupendous explosion. Such outrageous energies overcome the iron barrier cooking atoms into all the rest of the elements on the periodic table. So starting down here, you can go copper, zinc, gallium, germanium, arsenic, zirconium, niobium, molybdenum, technetium, strontium, rhodium, rutetium, ytterbium, thorium, iodine, xenon, cesium, barium, lapidum, cerium, antinium, antinium xenon, thorium, protactinium, uranium. Done. <laughs> That's enough elements. <laughs> we are all stardust carbon in our bodies, iron in our blood, the calcium in our bones. Every last atom was formed in a star. But it's not that simple. No one star can produce more than just a dusting of heavy elements. So, to create an environment friendly to life, the universe had to find a way to concentrate the good stuff. Which it did in a process that is remarkably like the way Chef Michael Romano cooks up a bowl of soup. Kung titignan ang lower part ng periodic table of elements, mapapansin na may mga elements dyan na hindi nabuo during the life cycle ng star. Paano nga ba nabuo ang mga elements na ito? Nabuo ang mga elements na ito Sa pamamagitan ng iba't ibang eksperiment na ginawa ng mga scientists, mababasa nyo ito sa page 13 and 14 sa Lesson 2 ng Module 1. For Explore in page 9 and 14, here are some enrichment activities for you to work on to master and strengthen the basic concepts you have learned from this lesson. For Lesson 1, Enrichment Activity 1, Concept map. Complete the diagram by filling in the missing terms. Lesson 2. Enrichment activity 1. Sino siya? Blind item. 
scientists synthesize elements and nuclear reactions. Read the following clues that determine the blind item. Refer to the icons if it's a scientist, an element, or nuclear reaction. After finishing the different activities under Explore, great job! You have understood the lesson. At this point, you are going to apply what you have learned in the formation of elements. Performance Test – Origin of Elements For this activity, you will create an output that discusses the origin of one of man-made elements. In your output, you must First, discuss the element's basic characteristics. Second, Give a brief timeline leading up to the element's discovery. You have until Tuesday to submit your outputs. Should you have questions, just send me a message. Until next time, my dear learners, stay safe and God bless.